Hello YouTube, this is my first unboxing vid. Thought I'd just show you this uh, uh, box that I've got. It's a 3.5 inch hard drive uh, chassis basically. But a hard drive will go into. So this is my first look at it. It's metal, it's nice and cold. It's got a button on the back. It's got USB 3. It's got power input, DC obviously. It's got a nice front on it. I like how when you buy off of eBay, it actually sometimes comes, it looks better than what it looks on the picture. So yeah. I've got to say I like that. So what's in the box? So, it comes with a charger. And uh, it's 12 volt, 0 0.8 amps. Uh, well, actually it's 2,000 milliamps. So yeah, it, it draws 0 0.8 amps from the wall. But it, it puts out 2,000 milliamps. So yeah. Quite a nice long cable. Comes with around a bit of bubble wrap. Just have some fun with that or we'll reuse it. Oh, it comes with a screwdriver, Phillips, tiny little thing. It comes with a stand, so you can stand it up. Probably won't be using that. It comes with a USB 3 cable, which is like a, I don't know, a good part of a meter long. It's good quality, it comes with um interference cancelor thing. Look a little magnet in there. that stop interference, so that's quite good. Keeps it all running efficiently. Comes with the screws. So it's obviously for securing the actual drive. It might even be for the case, I don't know. No, it's got to be for the drive. And it comes with a little manual. It's even got instructions of how to do it. So that's obviously what the screws are for, is for the hard drive itself. Now, reason why I've got it and the hard drive I plan on using is this dusty old thing, 500 gig, and uh, it's got SATA connection on it and the old Molex power. So, I'm hoping that this has got Molex power inside here because if it hasn't, then it's a bit of a uh, useless buy. Open it up. Right, so it's got no screws in, so it should open straight away. That's what half the screws must be for. It's for the outside case, that's why there's two different types one's for the internal hard drive. So, yeah. I love that new smell, that factory smell. Yeah, luckily, there's got two types of power okay so it's got the molex power but it's also got SATA power so at first glance it might not look like it's the right type because it hasn't got that one but you don't need both of them in fact if you were to put both of them in you might have issues where it would uh, overvolt it but luckily for me this has got power on the SATA which is this one and it's obviously got the SATA data as well so yeah just put it in I don't bother reading the instructions, as you can probably guess. So yeah, that's in straight away, ready to go. Right, there's a tiny, tiny bit of play, so obviously you're going to want to put these screws in. But this is good, good for if you've got multiple drives and you want to uh, format the drives and you don't want to mix it with a, a new drive and in a different system because the, the problem is there's limited amount of SATA connections you can have, there's limited amount of space in there and you might not want a drive in there, especially if you've just upgraded your drive. So yeah, it's these silver ones for the internal side. I always go in the reverse, just so it goes in. You don't want to cross thread it, so I always go in the reverse direction when I put the screws in. Don't want to over tighten. 
and here's the second one. It's also good practice to touch something that's earthed, like a case that's earthed, before you start touching electronics really, especially if you've got a carpet. But this is an old drive. And uh, yeah. So this is the funny bit. You might have to unplug it. Uh, where it's a switch, you won't have to remember what colour goes where, because it's a switch. Right, so they've got a channel where the wire goes down. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a channel on there. So anyway, that's back in there. It matters what way it goes round, if it's a free pin, by the way. So can't really go wrong with this because they've removed a pin. So yeah, that's in there. It's in the channel, it's not caught up. What you want to do is push that in there. <laughs> One thing you will notice is it's in the wrong direction. So it's not like omnidirectional. So it's got to be in the right direction. So it's one of them things you can't really notice until it gets to that point. But just turn it over. No problem at all. Right. So, got these two wires here again. Make sure it goes in the right way, otherwise <laughs> you'll wonder why it don't start. This is for the switch. Right, then you want to tuck that wire in there, like that. And close it down. Look at that perfect fit. I've just noticed there are two extra screws, but they're not needed. Once you take that, the slack off so it doesn't wobble. You don't really need the other two, that's just overkill. But, you know, it's always good to have leftover screws if you need it for other things. Right, these little tiny silver ones, well, sorry, black ones, are for the front of the case. Less chance of these cross threading, so. Yep, they go in nice and tight. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this case more than I expected. More, like, it feels nice and heavy, it's not cheap, it's not plastic, but uh, to be fair it's really good price. I think I paid a fiver for this chassis. Right, there we go, here's the finished unit. Look at that. And of course you could uh, put all this back in and you could uh, resell this as a 500 gig hard drive you know no one needs to know that he's only spent a fiver on the actual chassis but yeah what I'm gonna do now is plug it in so uh, just boot it up 